Hello and welcome back to Library Trace YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a reseller cup. It can be used as a sleeve or can um, put it around your shoulder or anywhere you want it. So what we'll be needing is our fabric. I'm going to be adding a bony to the tip of the flare just to give it structure. Then we need our fabric. I'm using this polished fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice. You can use a gansa, you can use doll face, any fabric you want. And then I'm also going to be using this bias to create a channel for my bony. So now it's not compulsory that you use a bias. You can actually fold your bony like that, but you know, working with flare can be a bit difficult. So you can just get something to turn it so that it will make the job easier for you. Okay, so before we continue, I just want to show us the different types of bony that we have. Okay, this is the red line bony. I think I've worked with this several times on this channel. You can see this is the type of bony that you can actually sew on. It has a place that is not dotted. Okay, that you can sew on this place. Okay, this is just another kind of bony it's just a normal regular plastic bony you cannot sew on this it is very very strong so for you to use this kind of bony you need to create a channel which is what we'll be doing in today's tutorial previously we've been using a bony that we just sew on directly so today we'll be using this regular bony that we cannot sew on so we'll be creating a channel for it to pass through and we have different sizes of bony this is like half inch as you can see and this is like a quarter just a quarter of an inch so this is the tiny one and i'll be working with this tiny bony for today's tutorial so let's get started so i'm going to fold my fabric into four like i want to fold the 360 flare the length of this flare depends on how long you want your reseller cuff to be at the end of the day can use five six seven eight or whatever you want so for this tutorial i'll be using seven inches so i'm folding my fabric with seven inches okay and i'll be folding it into four i'm gonna just leave it at that what i need is seven inches okay so once i have this I take my tape rule around and then I'm going to measure 7 inches. Okay. So I'm measuring 7 inches round. Once I have this, I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so when I cut it out and I open it, this is what I have. Now I'm going to create my channel. Like I said, you know, this is a flare, it may not be easy for you to just fold it in twice like this to create your channel. Another thing you can do is just to weave the rough edges so that you just need to fold it once so you can fold it and then iron it first before you decide to sew it so that it will be easier for you or you just decide to get like a bias and then sew it you first sew it round like this and then turn it like this so that it can have a space for your casing but beware of what you'll be using if you are using something to turn it to form your casing. You have to work with the by with the with whatever material that you know can accommodate the size of your bony. Like I said, I'm using a bony that is just a quarter of an inch, so it can easily fit inside these bias without giving me any problem. That is why I can use it easily. But let's say I'm using something as thick as this i may not be able to use this but as you can see there is still space so you have to be sure of what you're working with 
and hack accordingly so i'm going to take this to the sewing machine now and then to sew it around just to create like a look for my bunny okay so i've gone ahead to sew my bias to one side of my flare like this so the next thing i'm going to do is just to fold my by following the lines that is already there i'm just going to fold the bias over and then sew on it to create the casing that i need for my bony okay so i've top stitched this you may not be able to see it because it's black and maybe i should have used a contrasting color of thread i hope you can see this okay so this is my casing so i did not completely close this i left this opening here this space where i can pass my boning through so i'm just going to dip my boning inside and then pass it around my casing so like remember when i said you have to work with the casing that can occupy your boning assuming i didn't take that in mind now it would have become a problem because an 0.5 inch bone bony will not pass through this casing that i have so always keep that in mind so you now pass it around try to drag it as well passing you can see that the bone is already dragging the fabric it's giving it a structure on its own already okay so i just passed it in inwards very well so that it doesn't remove before i close it so you can see i stopped around here so there's no reason for it to remove i'm going to cut off the excess that i have here and then i'll completely close off my casing here so i'm going to spread everything out to see what i have okay so after sealing up the space that you opened you can now style your reseller cuff anyhow you want so you can actually fold this over like this and then gather a little bit here and then once you leave it you have something like this okay so i'm going to illustrate this on the mannequin so that we can see different curves we can get from this beautiful okay okay because i'm just pinching it a little bit here and it's going to open up and give me some ruffles around here okay so we'll move over to the mannequin now to so you can see i've held it with just a pen so in your case you just need to tack it so once you tack it together you take it to the already made sleeve that you have you must have had maybe a tiny sleeve attached to your body and then you just attach this to your tiny sleeve so like i did for the back i'm just going to hold it with a tiny pin and you can see how lovely this is so this is the effect this is going to give to your you may not be able to see it because this is a black fabric and the mannequin is also black but it is really beautiful okay so you can do any style you want with this if you don't want this style the previous one you may not see it here that's why i changed it to another mannequin so like i was explaining you must have had like a strap attached to your main bodies so it is on that strap that you're going to place this like this so i will be attaching mine with a pin but you're going to be sewing yours to Another design you can form with this. Instead of folding it over into two, you just fold a little bit of the front midway like this. So once you fold it midway, you gather the excess that you have here to meet it up like this, and then it is left for you to design beside the style that you want this to form. This can form like a love shape. You remember there is a boning in between, so you can bed it and form something like this. And then you just attach this to your sleeve or you just leave it like this and then attach to your sleeve so you have to be creative with it it depends on what you want to form with it the sleeve is very very fast attached 
another design you can do with this is make double of it so this has this is seven inches long and this is six inches long so it can be of equal length also you just place it on each other just like we did for the first design you just pinch it in the middle i have something like this and it's going to be double you can see the effect this is also giving you so you just pack it here and then attach it to your sleeve it is that simple